if you are using Acuity scheduling and you would like the attendee of an event to automatically receive an email with a feedback form, how might you do so? Let me go ahead and share my screen. So what you're seeing here is the email settings of my Acuity account. It's If you go back to the home screen of Acuity, if you're logged in, you will see on the left-hand side, there is something that will say client email somewhere around here. I'm not showing that to you because if I go back to the home screen, there will be some private information. But if you're logged into your Acuity, you should see on the left-hand side something that says client email, or maybe they've changed the name to email settings at this point. Either way, once you've clicked on that, you should be at a, on a screen that looks like this. It actually first says initial confirmation. You click on follow-ups, <clears throat> and this is where you can set up an automated follow-up email so that your uh, the person who's scheduled with you, whether it's a one-to-one -one appointment or an event on Acuity, will get that email automatically. What I do is I say, please send this follow-up email 0 0.05 days after their appointment. It's kind of weird because you would think, oh, well, one day after the appointment? But I don't like that because one day, 24 hours after the appointment uh, has started, they it's not as fresh, the, the experience in their mind. So I want them to receive the email as quickly as possible. And I just found somehow 0 0.05 was a good, I think this sends the email out to them something like, 15 minutes or 16, you, you all can do the calculation for me, 0 0.05 times 24 hours is what. But it's something like 15 to 20 minutes after the event begins, they actually get the email. So maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe I should do a 0 0.1 or something like that. But anyway, um, I have some short events and I, I wanted to, it to for them to receive the email for sure. And for me to be able to say on the event, hey, look in your email, there should be a follow-up message by this point. You know, so that's nice to do. Um, I check this box, send, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, oops, zoom in a little bit here. Send follow-up email after each appointment, only send to the client hasn't received any upcoming appointments. Uh, I, I'm going to use this one rather than this option. Uh, save settings. If you make any changes, be sure to click save settings. Okay. And then further, and then down here, <clears throat> you probably don't have any follow-up templates yet. So you would, you would want to click add new template. Okay. And then here's the confusing part you have to actually check the box for which appointment. Um, so let's say I'm going to do collabs after someone has a collab uh, with me or something that, like that, then I want them to receive this new, uh, new, new template I'm going to create or classes. Uh, for example, uh, let me go ahead and choose a class. Let's say after they have um, joined my uh, uh, healthy money class, after they joined that one, then I want them to receive the following. So how, how do I do it? I check the box next to the class. I want them to receive the follow-up for, and then I click on select. So that's kind of confusing that they do it this way, but check the box, click on select. And now um, what they do, it's like, George, how come it already is filled out like this? Well, they're actually borrowing from one of my other templates. That's why. But if you don't have any templates yet, maybe this, once you've clicked on select, this might be blank for you, or there might be some um, generic text for you here. So now you can type in whatever you want to say, uh, you know, as you can say, I say, while the experience is fresh for you, kind of take a few minutes, fill out the feedback form, it really helps, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you can, you can just type whatever you want. Um, thanks so much for, for attending. Please take a moment uh, and fill this out so that, um, and I'll send you the bonus, <laughs> you know, something like that. And then you could put the link, you could either put the link here or you could, you could put a, you could highlight and fill, you know, fill this out. You can highlight this uh, or select it and click on link to, to, to add the link in there. Okay. So, so you might say, well, George, uh, how do I create a feedback form? Well, you go to, oh, I'm going to open a new tab and go to forms.new, forms.new. Okay. Forms.new. And that will automatically create a private Google form in your private Google drive. So this, <clears throat> in the future, you would find this by going to your Google drive. This is not a Google Drive tutorial right now, but I just want to show you forms.new. You would um, name the form, you know, uh, remember it was my healthy money event, right? Healthy money event feedback, whatever. And uh, actually, if I, I'll, I'll show you this, um, if I put the title here, which is which is what they see, 
the the the, the registrant or the feedback person will, will see this title. If I put the title here, it automatically, oh shit, it was usually does anyway. Oh, there we go. I clicked on it and automatically put that in there. And then you just basically put in your, you know, your your feedback form. Uh, this is not a Google form tutorial. You can ask me for that if you want it, but uh, you create the form, you put whatever questions you want. You click on the send button on the top right. Oh, be sure, very important. Be sure to click on responses, three dots, get email notifications for new responses so that you'll know if people fill this out. I don't know why they don't make this default, but a lot of people get confused. They're like, I, I didn't receive any responses. Well, you, it's there. You just didn't know. And so it's better to get reminded uh, whenever someone fills out a form so that you know to check on it. And then um, you might want also want to click settings, presentation, Click edit next to confirmation message to, to make it more friendly. It's like, thank you. Thank you so much. Here's the bonus or whatever. And you can, you can give the link to the bonus or whatever you want to hear. Um, and then click send the form. Click on the link icon. Uh, click shorten URL. That makes it look better. It'll, it'll work the same way. Click on copy. And then let's go back to acuity scheduling. And let's paste, let's paste it there. So that's the form. And then once you have it, uh, thank you, thank you again, George, right, or whatever. And then uh, scroll down and click Save Template. Voila. Now going forward, anybody who attends my Healthy Money Workshop um, afterwards, 0 0.05 days after the appointment, they will go ahead, uh, they will receive the email automatically from Acuity with the feedback form. So I hope that helps. If you have any other tips for others uh, watching this who use Acuity or Google Forms, you can comment below. Thanks so much.